So good morning then and welcome back to Thought for the Day. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Joshua chapter 6 and verses 1 to 5. Before we do that, we're going to commit our time to the Lord. So let's pray. Loving Father, as we come to you this morning, we ask that you, in your grace, would work in our lives. We pray that we would understand your word as we read it now. We'd understand how it um, speaks to us, how it applies to us. And Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would show us how we should live in the light of it. We pray, Lord, that... Um, that you would uh, minister to us in Jesus' name. Amen. So let me read the passage to you. Um, Joshua 6, verses 1 to 5. Now Jericho was tightly shut up because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Make seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark, and on the seventh day march round the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. And when you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, make all the people give a loud shout, and then the wall of the city will collapse and the people will go up, every man straight in. So yesterday we were hearing about the, the meeting that Joshua had with the commander of the Lord's army, and Dave was pointing us, to Jesus Christ. Now, why would Jesus appear uh, as an army commander? It's not often the picture that we think of when we come to Jesus. Um, Charles Wesley wrote a children's song or a prayer that sums up often where our thoughts go in relation to Jesus. Uh, Gentle Jesus, meek and mild, look upon a little child, pity my simplicity, suffer me to come to thee. Now, whilst there clearly is truth in Wesley's depiction of Jesus, we also need to understand that Jesus is anything but gentle, meek and mild when it comes to those who are perpetrating sin and are unrepentant in it. So as the commander of the Lord's army, he rightly says when asked whether he is for Israel or against that he is neither. He is carrying out what is necessary to deal with sin. Uh, he does not take sides in the way that Joshua is asking. The victories that he will bring will be victories against evil. Now Joshua is told in our verses today that as he looks at Jericho in their seemingly impenetrable stronghold, that he needs to consider them as a defeated and a spent force. Uh, the victory will be given to Joshua because the commander of the Lord's army has already won the battle. Now, spiritually speaking, uh, we understand that as we think of the Christian life now. Uh, the evil and the sin uh, that is in our lives, where at, uh, as once we could say that it was locked up in a stronghold in our lives and we could never get them out, uh, they have now been defeated and the victory can be ours because Jesus Christ has destroyed the power of sin. Uh, when on the cross, he defeated uh, sin, Satan and death. By faith, we advance against any wicked stronghold, uh, knowing that it is already defeated and ours for the taking. But notice, though, uh, that Jericho will only be defeated if Joshua and the people act in faith and obedience. The victory is theirs so long as they trust God and do what he says. And how true is that for us? Um, whatever the stronghold of sin is, uh, be it lust, discontent, idolatry, uh, lies, greed, laziness, or anything, any other of a hundred other sins that plague us, if we trust in Jesus, we trust that Jesus has given us the victory and put into practice what he says we are to do in his word, then the walls uh, will come tumbling down and the victory will be ours. Now, Joshua has a choice to make. Does he believe that the victory will come, or does he think that the walls are too strong? As the Lord lays out the battle plan for Joshua, I suspect that there was no small battle going on in Joshua's mind. What he is being told to do is in no battle handbook ever. No wars had ever before fallen to a people who walk round the city blowing trumpets who made no direct assault or, or sought uh, no sneaky way in uh, to win the, win the city from the inside. Uh, will you trust God and maybe look a little bit odd in the process? Or will you conform to the world's standards in order not to lose face? May we be those who trust God and do 
what he says. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we consider this little uh, group of verses this morning, we ask that you would help us to be those who have the faith to believe what you tell us to do, that we would trust you and know that the victory is ours because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, when those strongholds of sin are in our lives, when that uh, uh, evil which is there uh, seems so uh, undefeatable, Father, we pray that you would give us the faith that Joshua had, uh, that we might do all that the Lord commands us, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.